All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a collection review. I've never done a collection, like a full collection review, but that's what we're doing today. It is over the Animal Crossing collection from ColourPop. So I ordered the entire collection. It's all right here and I'll go through all of it in a second. Um, just make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave. Here's my goal of 1,000 subscribers. Give us a big thumbs up. And let's go ahead and get into the video because there's a lot of stuff here. All right. So, I placed a very expensive, very large order on ColourPop. Um, I did. So, yes. Um, the ColourPop Animal Crossing collection comes with these stickers. First off, it's real cute. This is if you order like the collection as a whole. Everything is sold individually as well, but because I wanted to do a collection review, I obviously bought the whole thing. And a bunch of this stuff. So the first item looks like this. This is the Balloon Pop, that's what it's called. And it is a, I can't get it out of the box. It is a Super Shock Shadow Ultra Glitter. I've never tried this by ColourPop. I've used the eyeshadows before. But this is what this looks like right here. And we are going to swatch this. Oh my goodness, it's very soft. I was not expecting that to be as soft as it was. It's very pretty. I think it would be a really pretty highlighter as well it's really pretty it's very very soft so i think this might break easily packaging's really cute it's real simple it's got the animal crossing leaf on it so we have that and then we have this this is called billionaire and it is a glittery glitterly obsessed glitter gel this is like really cool it's like a, it's a gel but glitter <laughs> i've never used something quite like this oh my goodness it feels so weird oh my goodness okay so that's it swatched right there it's it feels so strange i've never felt that texture before it's very very wet. I feel like that would look really pretty on the lid. It's like a topper or something. Oh my goodness, I'm getting it everywhere. So that is the glitter gel. <laughs> it is like a glittery gel. It's exactly what it is. I need a makeup wipe out here because we are gonna get stuff all over the place. All right, then we get into blush. We'll do the blushes next, and then we have lip products, and then we have the eyeshadow quads. I'm sure all of you have seen this collection because it was like super hyped about when ColourPop first decided to launch it. I'm gonna get that glitter off before I get it everywhere. It's already everywhere, so when I do this video, don't be surprised if glitter ends up like on my face because it's on my hands like it's everywhere so if we just see it randomly don't be surprised that's why all right so we have two blushes and I've never tried ColourPop blushes before so this one is flower tender I can't get it out of the box the box of the packaging is really cute it has a flower on it and then we have the little plastic bit that's what it looks like Right there, I think that's a little too bright. Let's see. That's a little bit more true to color right there. So I guess we'll just leave it like this. <laughs> um, all right. Oh, it's really pretty, really nice and pigmented. Right there, it is swatched right there. I feel like blushes look weird in swatches, but that is flower tender. It's really pretty. It looks like there's like, it looks like it would be really shimmery, like in the pan. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, but it doesn't actually come across on the skin. It just gives a nice glow. It's really, really pretty. I like that. I like that. I like that. All right. Then we have Flower Power, which 
again has the flower on it and it looks like this this is definitely more like up my alley this is like more matte and it has just the colors that I would naturally prefer for a blush it's a cool toned pink I think these would be really pretty if you mix them together so that's the one on the bottom there it's really pretty it'd be really cute mixed together with the other one I quite like that like them both pretty I like them they're very smooth as well when I'm swatching them they're very smooth I don't have to like dig in um, at all but they're not super super pigmented to where like you have to be really really careful but they do have pigment so I, I like them I like them so far I haven't I've obviously used them and hmm, we'll do the palettes next so there are the true friends uh, pressed powder palettes and they come in this little box and it's really cute and then they're just there's four quads is what they are so we'll start I guess with the first one that came out this is the La LaBelle I think it's LaBelle, I don't know, of the ball. And the packaging is so cute. I mean, obviously mine got a little dinged, but as for like, can I still use it? Yes, it's just like the little, like a little dinged. So this is like the purpley one. Purpley one. I'll swatch them all in a second and just do like a quick side by side. Um, we have Nook Ink, which obsessed with the packaging, of course, of course. This one looks like this. Oh no, me on that. That's really cute. I like the little quads. They're so tiny. Five Star Island is next. Oh, we got the sheet on this one as well. It wasn't on Nook Ink, but it's on. Maybe. I can't get a hold of it. <laughs> there we go. All right, so this is Five Star Island. This is like a perfect everyday quad. It's real cute. And then finally we have What A Hoot, which I love blathers. Bloody. All right, that's What A Hoot. This is really cute. There's not a whole lot of mats in these. So there's one, two, three four five so there's five mats if you put the four palettes together so we have these two. Oh no did i dig it no i didn't okay and then we have let's see if i can hold all four of these up at the same time so we have these two and then we have these two quite quite pretty i think i'm going to like combine maybe a little bit of all four of them i don't really know how that would work um, but I want to try use as many shades like as I can so I can like give a review over each palette I don't know if you can get the palettes individually I know you can get them like the four together but I don't think you I don't know if you can get them like just the single quad I'm not sure um, so we have these four and they're so cute they fit perfectly in this little like box it's so cute all right then we have the just a tint these are mini just a tints um and they're so stinking cute i've never tried any lip product by color pop so i'm really excited about it so we'll start with these this is pick of the bunch and we'll just slide them out here i am keeping all the boxes because i am filming a haul after this so this one is coconut juice oh my goodness it's hard to I have glitter everywhere, so I apologize about that. That's really pretty. So that is coconut juice. It's like a perfect everyday. This one is probably gonna be my stuff. This is Income Parable. Oh my goodness, they're so hard to open. Yeah, this that's gonna be like my everyday jam right there. Yep, that's, yep. And I love that the cap has the fruit on it. So that has pears on it, and then this one has coconuts on it. That's a really cute detail that I think a lot of people would have overlooked but all right then we have fruit roots which is the next duo we have orange cutie oh my goodness yep 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 yep, yep 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 that is also my jam so that is orange cutie right there also my jam and then we have peach surprise which just by judging that swatch i'm probably gonna love it Oh, yep. 
Mm-hmm. Yes. Very similar, but not quite the same. I really like it. Mm -hmm. Then we have, finally, Fruit Basket. I can't get them open. <laughs> this one is Cherry Cherry. Okay, the lids are really hard to pop off of these. I wish that they went down further, um, just because I keep jinging them on the caps. So that one is Cherry Cherry. And then we have Juicy Apple. Ooh, that one looks like it's getting ready to slide out. Let's not do that. I just got these literally this morning. Oh, that color is gorgeous. I love all of those. There's a slight fruity smell, but it's not super intense. I think if you're sensitive to smell, you should be okay. And I have glitter everywhere. What is new? I always have glitter everywhere. Okay, so... You guys know the drill, I guess, like with the review. I also have, before I even jump into like fully reviewing stuff, I do have a new mascara here and I also ordered some eyeliners from ColourPop. Um, since the Animal Crossing collection didn't, doesn't have an eyeliner, I'll use one of these and just pop in like a review on it because I have like every color literally imaginable here. So. Um, depending on what color I end up doing, I'll probably just pick a random one. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to use any of like the browns or blacks or anything. I'm gonna use a color, so it might be crazy, but that's okay. So I'm also gonna pop that in if you're like, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna do this as well. Okay, so let's pull out a eyeshadow primer. Cause we're gonna do the eyes first cause I don't know exactly what to expect. And if I end up using a pressed glitter, there's quite a bit of pressed glitters, um, I'm assuming there's gonna be fallout. I think I'm gonna use this on my lid, which may or may not be a good thing. Um, we'll give it a shot. So depending on if I can get it on my lid, I might just use it on my inner corner or something. I don't know, we'll see. I don't actually know, we'll see. Okay, um, let's find a mirror first. I don't have one out. I guess I can just use one from the one of the palettes, but they're quite small. Um, I'm a mess. We'll just use this mirror. This is from Sultry. I'm not actually using this palette today, but I'm using the mirror in it in case you see it. So the primer I'm gonna use um, doesn't really matter. It probably I'll just link leave it down below. But I'm gonna use the Photo Focus eyeshadow primer by Wet n Wild in case you are curious. I love this primer. Um, I always try to use primers, especially when I'm trying a new formula or a new shadow or anything that I know I like. Just so you know that it's not the primer that you don't like, it's say the eyeshadow or whatever. So, I'm gonna blend that all out. This is a very liquidy primer. And I have used it with ColourPop's um, palettes before. Um, if you're subscribed to my channel, you have seen them. I have quite a bit of them. I also ordered another palette. I have two other palettes from ColourPop, but um, that I ordered as well, but I'm not using them today because I'm using the Animal Crossing ones and I'm really excited about the Animal Crossing collection. I'm not even joking. I talked about it all day. I could not wait to get home from work to film this video. Like literally could not wait. I was so excited. I've been stalking the UPS website for the like delivery message. Like I'm so excited. I wanted this collection so bad and it is sold out so quickly and I finally was able to snag it. So I'm pretty excited about that. So got our eyes primed. Oh, I should probably get my brushes down. That'd probably be a good idea. One second. We're gonna go into Five Star Island and we're gonna take Island Tune, which is this one right here. We're gonna use that as our transition. I'm not quite sure what to expect. Um, I'm gonna try to use at least one shade from every single palette. I don't think I'll be able to use all of them um, just because I don't think I have enough that, that much eye space. But I'm gonna try to use at least one shade from every palette. A Little bit of kick up in the pan. In case you are curious, that's what it looks like. It's not too bad. I just blow it away. And knock some of that off and let's get started. Shall we? I already have glitter on my forehead. That's good. All right. It's just a nice 
matte shade. Like the color, it's a very bright peachy pink. It's not to the point where if you dip in and you're not careful, you're gonna have way too much pigment, um, but it is still pigmented. Nice base color, not too bad, not too bad. It's nice and even, I'm not having to put in too much work to blend them out. The shade is really pretty, it's nice and even, it's applying very even, it's not going on patchy at all, which is nice. Okay, so now let's open these four back up. The mag magnets keep closing, so the palettes just keep slowly closing on me. So let's see, how are we gonna incorporate all of these? The label, label of the ball. I'm gonna take Serene Sable, which is the matte purple. It's this one right here, right there. And first find a brush that isn't caked in color. <laughs> All of my brushes right now are dirty, like pretty much all of them. It's not even, I'm not even trying to be funny at this point. It's like, it's a real thing. I really need to wash my brushes, but I don't want to. All right, and we're gonna take that, and we're gonna put that in the crease to deepen things up. This shade right here, custom design, can I just show you? It's duochrome, and it looks beautiful. I'm not gonna use it today, but it is calling my name. It'll be used very, very soon, I promise. Again, fallout, not too bad, not terrible start deepening that up that's a very pigmented color i don't know if you guys can see that it's nice purples can be kind of moody kind of difficult to formulate kind of difficult to blend so that is something to keep in mind definitely think island two went on a bit more even this isn't super patchy but it's not the most even shade but that is just nature of purple as well, so that is something to keep in mind. It's blending very, very easily though. As you can see there, it's blending very, very easily. It's still going on rather smooth. I don't even know what look we're doing. Truthfully, I'm just kind of placing color. So if this turns out to be a disaster, I'm just testing out the formula and stuff, okay? <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. We're just kind of placing stuff. I think I'm gonna do the opposite of what I was originally going to do. So I'm gonna go into Nook Ink and I'm going to take the shade, Made in the Shade, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna pack that on my lid. It's the opposite of what I was going to do, but I think it will make more sense. Definitely not like my traditional color choices <laughs> by any means. All right, this color is really pretty. It's very pigmented. I don't know if you guys saw that uh, application, but very, very, very pigmented. Has glitter in it as well. It's a very pretty color. I like it. I love this color. This would be a gorgeous color all over the lid. Then we're gonna take what a hoot, and we're gonna take who, which is this one, and we're gonna put that on the outer edge to deepen it up. That way I can use at least one shade from every palette, and then we'll start going back in to like fix things. Okay, told you, I don't know how much this look will make sense, like color-wise, <laughs> but I wanna use at least one shade from every palette, just so I can get like a basic idea of how the palette is. Because the formula should basically be the same, but 
Wow, did you guys see that? That pigment was unreal. This is like, this eye look is giving me ice cream vibes. I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> Maybe it's just cause like the colors. It's very pretty. I don't think I would normally put the purple in the crease though, but I don't hate it. It's definitely different for me, but it's not awful, but very easy to blend as well. It's applying so evenly. Color pop shadows are great to work with. They are a great price and they are also great to work with formula wise, blendability, pigmentation. I have quite a few of them and I like them. I definitely have my favorites, but I haven't had a ColourPop palette that I like despise either. So like that is really pretty. It's just a nice like little basic kind of look. There's not a whole lot to it. Um, but that's nice. So we'll take, um, we'll go back into Nook Ink and we'll take Yes Yes, which is this one right here. And we'll just put that um, kind of like in the front, I think. Like that, maybe. I don't know, I'm just placing colors now. I'm trying to try a little bit more of the shades for you. Do like my base and then come back to do like the blush, the highlight and figure out where I'm gonna put this. Cause I'm putting this on my face somewhere. I just don't know where yet. And then we'll do a lip together. But I'm gonna do like the base and stuff without you just cause I don't wanna bore you guys with that. And then I will be right back. Okay, so I did my base, I finished the eyes and we're back for blush highlighter lips all of that I'm going to use the flower power um, blush today it's this one right here um, I think it will just go with the look a little bit better they're both so pretty I really liked the swatches it's a very pretty color it's like an everyday color it's very easy to wear you can wear this with like any look like really it's such an easy blush it's like a color that you don't really have to think about. You could just throw it on and like leave. How many times am I gonna say like 500? It's so pretty. Let's look at that. Yep, that's a big one for me. Okay, now we're gonna move on to what I'm gonna use as a highlight, which is the Balloon Pop Super Shock Shadow. I know it's a shadow, but I'm gonna use it as a highlighter and hope that it's okay. Um, I've never, tried this type of product from ColourPop. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, not terrible. All right, maybe not the best idea because you can totally see it because it is too dark for my skin. So we're gonna do, so we're gonna make both sides match. I think if you had a deeper skin tone, you'd be able to wear that just fine. Um, but for me, I'm too fair for that. I do like it though. It's a really pretty color. It'd be really, really pretty in the inner corner. So I think I'm gonna use that. Right there. So I'm gonna take something and hopefully I can lighten it just a little bit. If not, I'll just roll with it. Cause I probably should have noticed when I swatched it that it was gonna be too dark, but here we are. Billionaire, somehow. I don't know quite how, but we are going to, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna take it on a teeny, 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 teeny tiny brush and see what I can come up with. We'll take Orange Cutie, the lip crown. So we'll start with the eyeshadow quads. I like the quads. They're one of my favorite pieces from this entire collection. They're really cute, really, really easy to 
work with. They blended beautifully. Um, very comfortable on the eyes. I quite like them. I quite like them. So these, totally would recommend. I like them, I like them, I like them. So we'll put them back in their little box because I don't want to lose them because they're so tiny. They're so little. They're so little. And then we'll move on to, hmm, we'll do blushes next. So I only used obviously one of the blushes, but I was really impressed. I really liked the blushes as well. Um, like I said, I haven't tried any other blush from ColourPop, but these were, or this one at least, was so nice. I'm definitely keen to try another one. Quite like it. And then the Super Shock Shadow might be my least favorite thing from the entire collection. I didn't really use it as the way I should have. So that's on me, so I can't give it a terrible score because I didn't actually use it properly. Um, it's really, really pretty. I think on the eyes, like on the lid, it would be Stunning. I did like it. It blended out beautifully. And then this little guy, the glitter gel, is really cool. I don't really think like you have to go out and purchase this. Like, I don't know um, many ways that you could use it. It's huge compared to this. So I feel like you don't really need that much, but it's not terrible. So if you get the collection, um, there's definitely uses for it. So it's not terrible. And then the lip products, obviously I've only used one, but I swatched them all. I did really like, I do really like it. It's very comfortable. You can't really feel it. It's beautiful. I really like it. So these will definitely be used in future videos. So for the entire collection, it gives a thumbs up from me. I really do like it. Pretty much everything was, I liked, I mean, these two things were like iffy. Again, I didn't use this correctly, so that is on me. Um, these two things were things that I don't really know if I would use on a day-to-day -day basis um, really at all. But the blushes definitely will be using the quads, the lip products. Love them. So make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave. Hit my notification bell so you know when I upload. Help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. Give us a big thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video.